That's okay, I'll let him drive. <laughs> fool. You're a fool, man, for hopping out right there. Lads, this season of Fortnite has me working overtime. With the Fortnite Rec update, Epic Games introduced a brand new set of vehicle mods. And these vehicle mods turned out to be the most broken mechanic they've added in years. The audience reception was overwhelmingly negative, and the player numbers fell so hard that for the first time in Fortnite history, there was more players in the zero build queue than there was in the build queue of Fortnite. Now I hadn't uploaded my first full gameplay of this season yet because I was preparing a review of sorts. I had actually already completed a full script. But amazingly, Epic Games heard the public outcry and in less than a week completely nerfed these vehicles into the ground. And this single mid-afternoon patch has completely changed the Fortnite meta. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my best game from the initial Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 update, and then I'll show you my best gameplay from after the vehicle nerf. So we can compare how in insanely different these two versions of the game really are. Comment your thoughts on the current state of Fortnite. Does this patch hit the mark for you, or were you actually a fan of those busted boss vehicles? Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. Every little bit helps make the quality better. I wouldn't have so much of a problem with this season being so crazy and over the top if the competitive mode was more restricted. I think the real problem with Fortnite right now is that the competitive loot and the pub lobby loot is exactly the same. I was trying to do some more uh, competitive commentaries this season, but what, is, what are you guys really going to learn from me rolling around in a car and shooting people with a turret? It's entertaining, but it doesn't teach you how to play Fortnite. We saw some nitro down here. The nitro gimmick is better than slap juice ever was. It's below or outside, he's below. So we are gonna use this, come around the side. Ah, not quite. I was trying to fake him out, but where is he? Okay, we'll have to check the damage on that Nitro there. I think it did somewhere in the realm of 225. That combat shotgun, I really should have just relied on that. I actually forgot I had it in my inventory, so I was uh, fighting with the Thunderburst. Nuka-Cola. This is 25 health, 75 shields, so it's like a lesser slurp juice. The thing is, the loot pool of this season is actually really good. The removal of the Frenzy Auto, the removal of the Sniper, all the loot is fantastic. But it's the car system and the Nitro system is a little bit OP. Ooh, purple. Yes, we needed this. Now, it's not unlimited ammo like the Wookiee crossbow, unfortunately. It's explosive. Wow. So it's going to have less ammo than I thought it would. It doesn't even run on sniper. You can have max 11 of that. All right. We're just going to fight him down here with the vehicle. No need to take unnecessary damage. One of these is like an actual AI. That guy is an AI. Jesus, settle down, bro. Okay. We finally got a medallion. Your weapons have infinite ammo and increased damage. Ooh, that's nice. That's actually very nice for what we got. So we get Mythic Bow with infinite ammo. So it removes our worry of explosive rounds. Hey, Nitro Fists, okay. Look, let's be real here. Nitro Fists are gonna be more useful than facing up in this season. So we're not even gonna think about that. We're gonna think about the car, repairing the car, keeping the car fully functional if we lose car we'll lose the match because these spiked bumpers they'll just go straight through the porta bunker there's no there's no saving yourself at that point a few moments later dude these things are too op i haven't used any fuel 
I've pretty much gotten all my life back too from the engagements. Sorry, little robot. Oh no, dude. Is this a coin guy without a car? Alright, you know what? We're taking this hill. Antenna's still here. No one is even thinking about alternate objectives at all. First time I fired that gun in a long time, brother. It's like there's a little delay on me switching seats right now. How many times did you get to use that? God damn, how many times did you get to use that, brother? Okay, now we have to play a bit tactical. We have to go for back into circle. Because there's multiple cars here. You're too late. I've already been firing at you. <laughs> this is so stupid. What am I playing? Oh my man Did I just hit my own car? That's okay, I'll let him drive. <laughs> fool. You're a fool, man, for hopping out right there. No way, bro! Oh! This is so dumb. I should have switched seats. Bro, this is without a doubt the dumbest form of Fortnite I've ever played. Not for a moment there did I have to hop out of the car, think about position, do anything like that. And what defeated me? Another boss car. Several days later. And just like that, they pull me back in. Are you kidding me? I'm on Fortnite again. Less than a week after the initial update to Fortnite Season 3, which brought in the broken car modification system, and on top of that, the boss cars, which were a whole other level of broken on top of that, they have nerfed the cars severely. The weapons on them are less good. Uh, they don't auto-regen. The boss cars specifically don't auto-regen their health, but probably most importantly to us, because we mostly play solos, is that the health of the vehicles has been straight up reduced in solos. The thing about when we first hopped on at the beginning of the season is the cars were too dominant. It pretty much passed your drop spot. If you didn't have a car, your chances of winning the game just plummeted. We didn't win a single game that entire session, bros. But today, we're gonna come in, we're gonna claim our victory umbrella, and then some. That guy is in storm still. Wow. 
We got jump head. We really shouldn't even poke. Is there another vehicle down here? He's gonna go for it. Top two situation. And we did it without the coin or any of the mythic items too, dude. Or the boss car. <laughs> we didn't even have the car. This season was a learning curve for sure. For sure. And you know what saved it there at the end? I stopped trying to aim. Once I hit him with those two bursts, I was like, it's pointless to try to aim this combat. Let's just punch him. Oh my god. And this is what it was all for. <laughs> One of the low key, high key. Let's be real here. One of the ugliest umbrellas I've ever seen in Fortnite history. 